guys, it's Christy, and today I'm going to be doing the 10 writing memes tag. So this tag was created by Tiffany over at Tiffany Writes Books, and she tagged me, so thank you so much, Tiffany. I'm going to link her video down below so you can go check it out after this one. But I thought it was such a fun tag because I see these writing memes all the time on social media, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. I see them everywhere, and I it, they always give me a laugh, but some of them I feel like are more, you take more personally than others because you relate to them, you know what I mean? Okay, so the tag is is to share 10 writing memes and then your favorite quote on writing. Okay, so this first one, when you come back to finish your story after too long a break, I have no memory of this place. <laughs> I've definitely felt this way. I have taken multiple long writing breaks where I had a project and I just let it sit for forever because um, I've actually written two different stories at this point, two different novels at this point. Um, and yeah, I definitely know what it's like when it's been sitting for way too long. You know, it's okay to take a little bit of a break after you've written something, but you don't want to take like a year or two year break because you definitely will come back. And I've had those moments where I'm reading something and I go, did I write that? Like what? Like I, that doesn't, I don't even remember. I don't even remotely remember writing those words. That definitely happens to me. And then this one, and I will write 500 words and I will write 500. <laughs> I love it. But so my sister actually did a cover of this song for my wedding. Um, and this, you know, is a classic 80s song if you're not familiar, but there is a cover version. I don't even know who sings the cover version. It was on So You Think You Can Dance and I just thought it was gorgeous. So she sang that for my wedding. I loved it. Anyway, so I, that's why I'm including it just cause you know, I have a personal experience. So this one, when someone checks your in internet history and you're like, it was for a book I was writing, a book, you gotta believe me. Yes. <laughs> um, I feel that way all the time because especially now that the, oh my gosh, it's like scary, you know, because you'll just be talking about something and then on Facebook you'll see promotions for things and it scares me sometimes because if I'm you know, not just, you know, that's talking, but that maybe you're making a Google search for something and it's kind of weird or creepy or whatever it is, but it's for your book. And, you know, it just, it just kind of makes you question things. Like, is, is someone going to come back? Am I going to get like a call? Am I going to get some kind of weird home visit or something for this? This might be like paranoid city, but like sometimes if I'm Googling really weird, creepy things for my writing, I'll Google something with the word writing in it or like author in it. That way I feel like if someone were auditing my search history, they would be like, okay, she's a writer. Does anyone else do that? You know, I'm like, I'm just gonna cover my butt just in case, like writer, writer, writer. <laughs> and then this one, uh, I just thought I would include because I didn't know that Tom Hiddleston was like the new Ryan Gosling in the writing community, I think, or like the book fan community. I don't know, but I just, I see his face everywhere. He is an attractive man, so I understand. But I just, I thought I'd put that in there because I'm like, I, someone, like, has this been going on for a long time and I just didn't know about it? I don't know. Okay, and then this one, every time you use your for your, you make Batman cry. <laughs> Uh, yes, you make me cry because I just, I am not like a grammar Nazi. I'm not like a crazy grammar person where I know every grammar rule in the book. I certainly don't, but I just feel like there are fundamentals in grammar that you should know, you know, like if you're writing a book, you should know the fundamentals. So please, please, the two, two thing, or, you know, your, your, there, there. It's like, ugh. And then this one, <laughs> okay, this one is, I, I think is the one I relate to the most out of these, is how I look when someone asks me what I'm writing about, and then their reaction, yes. I think, oh yeah, they're totally getting the idea of what my book is about. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm, it's like, I'm trying to keep some of it to myself. I want there to be surprises for my readers, you know, and so I'm like, I'm not, quite sure how much information to give without just giving it all away and it's like no one needs to buy it and read it you know um <laughs> so it's like i'm trying to balance that with also giving enough information about the story that you're intrigued and that you want to get it you know and then and then of course you're also balancing the inhibitions that you have about 
you know, sharing your work and all the, the fears and everything that you have about sharing it. And, and you know, there's some self-consciousness in sharing your work. So it's kind of all, yeah, it's, it's hard sometimes. And then this one I just thought was funny because, well, I'll explain. It says, people who say you should have picked a practical major people who ask you to edit their essays, and then the people you want to punch. <laughs> and the reason I think this is funny because, so you know, I, based on my major, you know, I should be in a career that does not make very much money, typically, you know, and, and depending on the state where you live and everything, but, and depending on the job, obviously, but, you know, people that have my major generally, you may have a lot of job offers, but they're just not, it's not a very lucrative industry. But at the same time, you have people that need your skill. And that's what's so crazy is that it's not just that people don't put enough value on our skill set as writers, especially, you know, formally educated writers. Uh, it's it's crazy. And you, you have people that will, will ask you for all these kinds of favors, you know, editing, whether or not it's an essay or their resume or like, you know, or uh, manuals. Let's say you have a job outside of writing or journalism. Um, a lot of times if they find out you're a writer, they'll be like, okay, can you write our user manual? Can you write um, whatever, you know, can you write our um, promotional materials? And it's like, well, you didn't want to hire me to be your, you know what I'm saying? Like you didn't want to hire me for my writing ability. You hired me for something else, but now you're taking advantage of my writing ability it's like, I just don't think that people put enough emphasis on how important it is, how important writers are. Okay, and then this one, uh, story idea that's in your head versus the story idea you tell someone. And you'll see I have two memes on this topic because that's how relevant it is to me. I just thought it was so funny. Okay, and then this one, I don't know if this qualifies as a meme. Someone tell me if it's not, because I, I don't know. But this one says, error, you are experiencing writer's block. Please try again later. And this one I thought was funny because I work in software. <laughs> so it's like even more relevant um, to me. No, I guess it's like whether or not you choose to, you have to suffer anyway. So it's like your only option is to suffer. I like that. And then, okay, and then this one says, whenever someone says they could write a novel if they had the time. Yes. Um, and it's, it's funny because I mostly hang out with non-writers. I don't have a lot of writers in my real life. Um, and I don't, this may not be really common within the people, within the group that I hang out with. But every once in a while you get these comments about like, oh, you're writing a book? And it's, they don't know all the work and everything that goes into it all the time and energy. Um, there was this one person that at one point uh, was asking me about my novel. This was my first novel when I was still in the process of it. Um, and they said, how many pages? And I said, oh, 255. And he goes, oh, so like a short story. And I'm like, have you ever written anything? No, no. He hadn't written anything. It's like, I, eh. do you feel me? Has anyone else ever gotten these little comments? And it just like, it, it enrages you because you're like, you don't know how much work went into those 255 pages, okay? So anyway, but yeah, or someone being like, you know, I think it'd be really cool to write a book. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you're acknowledging how cool it is, you know, but do you know how much work goes into this? I just want proper credit. But that's okay, you know, it's okay if they don't get it as long as they're buying it, right? As long as they're buying it and reading it um, and appreciating it, that's okay. Maybe they don't need to know how much work goes into it. So I recently posted something about uh, ballet because I feel like it's similar to writing, in my opinion, because a ballet dancer's job is to make it look easy, you know? And that's why I feel like a lot of people don't necessarily give it the credit that it's due because it just looks like, eh, like anyone could do it. No, <laughs> it is so hard and there's so much going on behind the scenes that you don't see. Um, and so I just feel like it's, it's easy to not give something the credit that it's due when you just don't see, you know, the iceberg underneath um, and you just see this pretty, you know, finished product at the end. So anyway, I just, that's why I like this meme. <laughs> so my favorite quote, at least right now, is uh, there are three rules for writing a novel. Unfortunately, no one knows what they are. And I just think this one's kind of funny um, and sarcastic because, you know, obviously there are rules for writing a novel. There, you know, there's structure and there's a lot of um, technical things, but 
It's so funny because there are so many opinions out there and a lot of them are very contradictory and also, you know, kind of as things, as time goes on and times change, you know, I feel like storytelling changes and the rules and things. So I just feel like some of it is subjective. It just depends, you know, and of course it depends on the genre and it depends on, you know, the time period. And it's like um, third person tense used to be the only tense that was used and it was just considered the standard. And first person was just like weird and abnormal and strange. And now there are so many books being published in first person. And at least for me, when I'm writing first person, I don't find anything strange about it. It doesn't like take me a minute to adjust like other people say that it does. Um, anyway, it's just, I, you know, it's, I guess that's one of those things that people tell you that, oh, you should do it like this, but it's kind of subjective. <laughs> so thank you so much, Tiffany, for creating this tag and tagging me. Um, I'm going to tag some people. So I'm going to be tagging Rayleigh Bradshaw, Don Kozak, Melissa Hope, and Rebecca Rodriguez. So if any of you are really in the thick of NaNoWriMo and your nano content and stuff like that, don't feel pressured to do this tag. If you don't have time, it's totally fine. The funny thing about tags is I feel like you either are always tagging the same people or, you know, you maybe you don't tag anyone and then it kind of like some people maybe wanted to do the tag and were hoping that you would tag them and then they feel awkward about doing the tags they didn't get like formally tagged and then it's you know you're just always self-conscious about like who to tag am I tagging them too much or like or, or am I bothering them maybe they don't want to do the tag but then maybe they did want to do the tag you see what I'm saying I think that tags can be such a fun way to just like talk about writing in sort of a more informal setting if that makes sense I don't know so if you're tagged or you want to do this tag the rules are select 10 writing memes and share your favorite quote on writing. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.